Okay, we're back again. Thank God for this unknown counter ability. I tell you, this would take me forever if it wasn't for that. Alright, let's watch. Watch and learn. Thanks, Thanks for, for everything, everything Kenok. I know I don't need to tell you this, but guard Lord Brasco well. That I will. And you'll be busy too. I heard they made you second in command. <sighs> You know that promotion was meant for you. You were always the better one, even until the end. You make it sound as if I was going off to die or something. I will see you again. Yes. Well then. Going already? <laughs> you will tell me about Xanakin when you return, won't you? <laughs> Farewell. Wow, that was a really good one. Pretty cool sphere, huh? Nice. All right, well, that's uh, we we've got, and I think six of them done. We got um, four left, if not if I'm not mistaken. Actually, I think it's three because the fourth one we got. So. Uh, next location we want to head to is... Let me look at my thing here. Uh, the moon floor where we met the shoe buff. Rise the shoe buff. See you there. Okay, we're back. And this was an easy one to get to. It took... Uh, the, the freaking airship took us right here, basically. So, there we go. Check sphere number... Seven, I believe this is. <laughs> Let's have a look. He looks he's And I think I know which uh what sphere this is referring to. Remember they talked about uh Jekt being drunk at this point when he struck the shoe puff? <laughs> well it's Braska, okay. Ah, that's more like it. Jacked. Drunk silly. Hangover. What are you shooting me for? So you don't do anything stupid again. I can't believe you attacked that shoe puff. Lord Braska had to pay the handler for damages. From his own travel money. I said I was sorry. It's never gonna happen again. <laughs> I promise. Ah, a promise. Which you'll forget come tomorrow. <laughs> Oren, please, he did apologize. He knows he was wrong. That's it. Only thing I drink from now on is shoe puff milk. You're sure? We're on a journey to fight they spelled, uh... and save Spira, right? If I keep screwing up... Second there, I thought they still spelled shoe puff wrong. Fool of myself. My wife and kid are never gonna forgive me. That's on the record. <laughs> shoe puff milk for you from now on. <laughs> that was good. That's that's my favorite sphere of them all, I think. All right, uh, what do we have left? We have two left. Surprisingly, yeah, because we already got the Mungagas in one. So off to the Thunder Plains. See you there. All right, we're at the Thunder Plains underneath the tower, and here is the Jack Sphere, right near the agency, south of the agency. In case you're wondering. Why am I doing this? What do you see there, my lord? Oh, I was just thinking. This is important. No fooling around. You're gonna spoil it. Whoa. The Chronicles of Braska's Journey. All right. Now there's a scene for posterity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Alright, and we got one Jack Sphere left to get. And this one I'll just, I think, instead of cutting to, I'll just uh, head there with. Head there on screen because it's kind of fitting that this is the last one we get because. Uh, the last one is actually in uh, Makalani Woods. This one we could have gotten earlier in the game, right after we fought Sphere Morph, but I decided to skip it. 
And now we've come full circle, and now that we can get, um... We could go to Lake Makalania, and it'll take us to the Makalani Woods. And we'll get that, and we'll jump right into the next part of our side quests, which is... Uh, turning the... Um, the hell's it called? Uh, I'm not thinking clearly. The... Um, oh boy, what is it called? It's called... Cloudy Mirror. Uh, the next part of our side quest, which is turning the Cloudy Mirror into the Celestial Mirror, so we can unlock everybody's side... Um, our ultimate weapons, I should say. So that's what we're gonna do now. Let's go on to... Lake Makalania, our closest location to Makalania Woods. And we'll go Here and we get go. the last Jack Sphere. And we'll get the we'll get the Celestial Mirror. Okay. Thank God like I said again, thank God for this no encounter thing. It just saves so much time. It's uh it's almost peaceful. Oh. And I forgot there was a treasure chest that was being blocked here earlier in the game we could get now. Four thousand gil. <laughs> Alright, on to Makalani Woods, right over here. Cool, cool. Cool beans, man, cool beans. Alright, and now we're gonna take this little pathway. This should take us up the, yeah, up this, uh, I call it the Rainbow Road. You guys can call it whatever you want. It's pretty cool looking. Personally, I hate the forest, though, only because it re every time I come here, it reminds me of the damn butterfly minigame. Oh, I just dread that that game with a passion. I'm telling you. All right, so we gotta head down this way and keep heading along this road. Almost there. There you go. Now you'll notice this boy and his mom here. You go ahead and talk to them. I'm supposed to meet my husband here, but he hasn't shown up for the longest time. You talk to the boy. I'm supposed to meet my dad here, but he's late. Oh no, maybe he forgot where he's supposed to meet. My dad forgets a lot of things. Okay. I hope nothing bad has happened. He's so forgetful. Maybe he's just forgotten about our meeting place. Alright, before we find their dad, here's their final Jack Sphere. Let's have a look. called Jekt, the man from Xanarkin, are you not? What of it? Watch your tongue, Knave. Huh, <laughs> Knave. Ah, my apologies. I am Braska, a summoner. I've come to take you from this place. Mm, sounds sweet. What's the catch? <laughs> that easy to see, was it? I soon leave on a pilgrimage to Xanarkin. Seriously? Hmm. I would like you to join us. It will be a dangerous I trip. I still don't understand. Yet, if we do reach Xanarkin, my prayers will be answered, and you will be able to go home, we think. What say you? Great, let's go. Hmm. So quick. Anything to get out of here. Then it's settled. But I must protest. <laughs> Drunkard? A guardian? Hey! You want to step in here and say that? What does it matter? No one truly believes that I, a fallen summoner, wed to an albed. <laughs> Could possibly defeat right, Sin. Married Albed, remember? This is what they That's said. Sid. No one expects us to succeed. Braska, sir. <laughs> Let's show them they're wrong. A fallen summoner, a man from Xanarkin, and a warrior monk doomed to obscurity for refusing the hand of the priest's daughter. What delightful irony it would be if we defeated Sin. Stop gabbing and get me out of here. 
Still doesn't quite make sense why they chose uh, Jacked, but no, oh, there's more. <sighs> Free at last. Now, Jacked, I am in your hands until we reach Zanarkand. Right, right. So, what's a summer nerd anyway? <laughs> yeah, like I said, uh. And we got uh, Oron's last overdrive tornado, sweet. So we got all of Oron's overdrives, we got all the Jack Spheres, and we're done with the Jack Spheres. Now we want to head right here. But yeah, I, I still don't understand why they chose Jack as a guardian. There's really no logic behind it. Like, were they just looking for another guardian? I don't know, they never really explained it. But anyway, where we want to head here is the original camping site before Yuna and Titus share the kiss. And sure enough, here is the father the kids are looking for. <laughs> 